Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following news report. Good morning, this is Damon Regis for Toledo Business Beat. Clara Chu, the owner of a popular clothing store chain, Smash and Grab Inc., has announced the new business expansion plan. After a decade in the fashion industry, Ms. Chu will soon be opening a restaurant. Construction will begin in April of this year, and the restaurant will be located on the third floor of Smash and Grab Clothing Store in San Diego. Ms. Chu said she's always been inspired by her Southeast Asian heritage. So, once completed, the Smash and Grab restaurant will feature authentic Chinese cuisine and decor. Number 71. What is Ms. Chu known for? Number 72. What has Miss Chu recently announced? Number 73. What does Miss Chu say she is inspired by? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following introduction. I'm grateful to all of you for getting to the banquet hall on time. This is the largest event our company has ever catered, so it's particularly important that everyone knows what to do. First, I'd like you to take a look at this chart. The chart shows which tables you will be responsible for serving. Normally, you start by setting up your tables, but the truck that's delivering plates and glasses is stuck in traffic. So while waiting for the supplies to arrive, I'd like all of you to assist with our preparations first. Let's start by polishing the silverware. Number 74. Who most likely are the listeners? Number 75. What does the speaker ask the listeners to look at? Number 76. What has caused a change in plans? Questions 77 through 79 refer to an excerpt from a meeting. I think this has been one of the best meetings our bird watching club has had. Let's give a hand to Joy Bernadette for sharing her great tips about capturing excellent wildlife photos. But before we conclude the meeting, I want to mention a few things. First, it's time to pay yearly member dues again. Please send your renewal payment to our office. The Birding Society's office is on Roosevelt Road. Also, remember that next month we will be meeting at Audubon Museum instead of here at the coffee shop. Please don't forget to update your calendars. Number 77. Who most likely are the listeners? Number 78. What does the speaker ask the listeners to submit? Number 79. What does the speaker say will happen next month? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following radio advertisement. Are you looking for the hassle free way to move your things from one house to another? Then look no further than Froman and Sons Moving Company. We are consistently rated among the top five moving companies in the metropolitan area. And now, with our new price quote online tool, you can estimate the cost of your move by answering a few simple questions. Just visit our website at www.froman.com or if you prefer, One of our sales representatives will be happy to visit your residence for an in home evaluation and price quote. And remember, at Froman and Sons, your satisfaction is always 100% guaranteed. Number 80. What type of business is being advertised?
Number 81. What are listeners invited to do on the company's website? Number 82. What does the advertisement say is available upon request? Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following recorded message. You have reached the law offices of George Loss and Hopper. Our office is currently closed. If you are calling to make an appointment to see one of our attorneys, please call back during our regular business hours, which are Monday through Friday from 8 30 a.m. to 5 30 p.m. If you would like to leave a message for your agent, please press 1. To read some of our customer testimonials, please visit our website at www.gandhlaw.com. Thank you and have a good day. Number 83. What kind of business does the person who recorded the message work for? Number 84. Why are listeners directed to press 1? Number 85. What does the speaker say is on the company's website? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following telephone message. Hi, this is Fred Steen from the operations office here at Indigo Furniture Factory. I'm calling to let you know about a change we need to make to our production schedule. I've just received word that the order of red cedar lumber that was supposed to arrive today is going to be delayed. They said that they will be able to get us the wood tomorrow. Since this puts us off schedule a little bit, I need you to see which workers from the production team will be willing to work overtime for the rest of the week so we can catch up on our orders. Thanks. Number 86. Where does the speaker work? Number 87. Why is there a problem? Number 88. What does the speaker request that the listener do? Questions 89 through 91 refer to an excerpt from a meeting. Good morning, folks. Thank you for participating in this focus group for International Tourister's new line of travel baggage. As you know, the purpose of a focus group is to find what potential customers think about a product before it goes to market. Today, we would like you to evaluate a new line of carry on travel baggage. Now, you have all been placed into this particular focus group because you indicated on our survey that you are frequent flyers, meaning you fly at least four times per month for business. So, your opinions will be very valuable to us. Let me start out by asking how much you spent the last time you bought a piece of travel gear. Number 89. What is the purpose of the meeting? Number 90. Why were the listeners chosen to participate in the meeting? Number 91. What does the speaker ask the listeners about? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following telephone message. Hi, this is a message for Victor Vellard. This is Pete Frackus, the owner of the apartment building on Alabama Street. You're very interested in the one bedroom apartment I showed you yesterday. But you said you need a day to think it over. Well, I'm calling because I just showed the same place to someone else today, and he would like to sign the lease right away. I prefer you as a tenant because it sounds like you plan to rent the apartment for longer. If I don't hear from you by noon tomorrow, I'm going to accept this other guy's offer. So, 
If you're still interested, let me know what you would like to do. My number is 341-0909. Number 92. What is the message about? Number 93. Why does the speaker prefer to deal with Mr. Villard? Number 94. When is the deadline for Mr. Villard to make a decision? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following telephone message and order form. Good morning. This is Maggie Richards with Oliver Industries. I'm calling to follow up on a catering order I placed with you last week. It's for our company's board of directors meeting tomorrow. I'd like to reduce the number of beverages since several board members will be unable to attend. I'm fine with the number of utensil sets because we can always use them. Also, I wanted to give you a heads up that when you arrive at our company's headquarters, you'll need to sign in at the security desk and get a visitor's pass. I've already notified the security guards and they will have a pass ready for you. Number 95. What type of event is being catered? Number 96. Look at the graphic. Which quantity on the order form is no longer accurate? Number 97. What is the listener asked to do tomorrow? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following excerpt from a workshop. And evaluation form. Okay, this is the end of the workshop on the best practices at video conferencing, and I hope you enjoyed it. The company managers decided to offer this workshop as a way to improve your interactions with overseas clients. Now they would like to get your feedback on the usefulness of this workshop. They are open to any suggestions and comments you might have on ways to improve it. You'll be receiving an evaluation form in an email later today that they'd like you to complete. And don't worry, the evaluations are anonymous. No one will be able to see either your name or email address. Thanks again for your participation in this workshop. Number 98. What was the purpose of the workshop? Number 99. What are the listeners asked to do? Number 100. Look at the graphic. What do the listeners feel needs improvement? This is the end of the listening test.